Sean! Sean, this corral isn't going to finish itself. <laughs> hey, everybody. Well, we're uh, putting up the 2x6 corral here. We've got quite a bit done. And this is what we sawed yesterday on the mill. And uh, we loaded up on the gooseneck trailer there. So we've got plenty enough here to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that end over there. And this whole part here. And this end. And that's where we'll be backing the trucks up to load the, the cattle on. And uh, we ran out of time and froze up. So there's no post there you can see. So what we're going to do is put our steel panels up. That we, dr we dropped off a load here. A lot of you have seen our steel panel gates and uh, fence before. There's one here with a gate and four that are solid. So uh, yeah, these are 24 foot long and we just pick them up with the loader and you can see here they have uh, chain locks that you just, you just uh, put the chain around each one like that and that's how you lock them together. So when you're putting them each one side by side, you just make sure you have them in the right order and you lock them together. So yeah, Sean brought these here. And uh, we have quite a bit more at home, but but uh, that's why we wanted to get half over half of the corral done so we didn't have to bring so many of these. Usually, usually we have to bring them all. And uh, it takes a few, we can haul about 10, 10 on the trailer. And uh, it takes a few loads to get them up here. So. We're just going to try and get this uh, three quarters of this crowd done. And it looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Uh, one comment uh, I had yesterday asked if we uh, uh, treat the wood with anything. Well, usually we don't, but I think on this one we're going to uh, put a nice stain on it. Right, Laurie? Yeah. <laughs> right, Sean? Sean, I got a few comments that I was supposed to make you talk some more. Because they really want to hear what Sean has to say. You can't. You're going to pull a cord on the back. <laughs> anyway. We've got this part here to go. Hopefully we'll get that part done. Yeah, I think it looks pretty, pretty neat. Sometimes I wish you could just put a stain on it that would just make it just keep looking natural like that. Which you can, there is, but I like a little bit of color. Alright. That's uh yeah. We'll uh, I'll come back after it's done. Sean, are you done for today? Are you done for today? Are you tired? Sure much had it for today, hey Sean? No? You really can go. You can really give her. boy, Sean. Anyway, we're finished. We got the uh, 2x6s nailed right to the ends. And then uh, from there on we're going to go right across with uh, the steel panels. So, yeah, turned out pretty good. Next year we will finish it off totally and then we won't have to bring panels here whatsoever. And that'll be nice. That's how I like it. Like the panels come in handy. But you don't want to you don't want to bring them here every year. Which is what we were doing. So we're just tidying up now. Hey Sean, pull that chain. No, pull that chain tight. Pull, 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 pull. What's the problem? Why are you pulling it that way? Pull it this way. Come on. There. Now we can put the boomers on. You should probably get that chain a little tighter there. Here, I'll do it. Is it tight already? 
Nah, this thing is stupid too. Nah, it's pretty tight, yeah. Give her, you. It doesn't have to be that tight. It's all down now, so. So yeah, Sean. Sean is uh gonna cinch down the, the re our leftover lumber here. Uh, as I said la yeah, yesterday, when we were sawing, sawing some of the some of the logs had been standing for three years, and they got a little little bit of insect damage. That's what happens when you leave them. See, they start borrowing in under the wood, and. Uh, one, I had one comment ask me if we, uh, if we uh, dr uh, saw dried out logs or we leave them to dry. No, actually we love to saw them as soon as they're cut right down. So the best, that's the best uh, time to cut them, to saw them is when they're green. They saw way easier. Hard, uh, drier wood is harder on the blade so because it's harder. So. So now that we got the mill running and everything, we're gonna, after we, we're finished cattle and everything, we're gonna saw them all. We need a lot of two by sixes for more corrals anyway. Our homestead corral is uh, getting to be pretty weary. It's, it's probably 25 years old. And they, my dad didn't use treated posts, like we use the treated posts, so that was, uh, their time is up. That's good, Sean. They won't fly off there. All right. So, it'll be another, probably day after tomorrow, and these guys will be hauled home. All right. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments. Right, Sean? Leave your comments, and I'll get back to you.